Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Elphaba because she is now officially permanently banned from TikTok as it stands. Normally those bans don't really um, last very long, so we'll see what happens. Friendly reminder, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. We post pretty much every single day on here and you won't want to miss out on that. And if you are subscribed, check to see if uh, you still are because YouTube keeps on um, unsubscribing people and it's annoying. But um, let's see her reaction. Uh, we've got it here, uh, thank God. Um, I'm sure she took it well. Guys, I've got some bad news. Um, it was determined that your account violates our guidelines and cannot be restored. This is like um, modern art. Uh, oh, guys, I've got some terrible, awful news. Me account, it's um, it's been hair dryer. Just a, a loud hair dryer just just comes in uh, at the point where the horrible news is is broken. This is the thing about if you're live all the time, right? You end up with this. I don't know about you, but I don't even like talking to the hairdresser. It's awkward. Um, they ask me what my job is. I go, uh, talking about TikTokers, uh, and then they go, oh yeah, TikTokers, I love Addison Ray. And then I have to sit there and pretend that that's the type of stuff that I talk about. They're dancing and whatever. Like I write dance moves. That's my job, apparently. Alphaba, right? How do you go into a place live, then explain that this is what you do for a job, then explain that there are 7,000 people listening to it, all the conversations that are happening in there. How do you do that, right? If I was also somebody else, I hate people like Alphaba. If I went to get a haircut, right, and Alphaba was live streaming whilst I was having to explain like what I do and who my family are and, you know, why I like holidays in Spain, I would be pretty angry. <laughs> Oh, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. It seems like TikTok have relatively made up the ban. I have a feeling that um, they've been wanting to ban her for something else. And we'll get onto that in this video because um, there's other people involved who've been trying to take her account down, like this uh, user called Mama Kaz, and we'll get onto the videos that she's posted. But I have a feeling, potentially, that maybe TikTok are fed up with Alphaba going on there and um, kind of making a mockery of the live system. Uh, using um, kind of cheats to get ahead. Apparently, they've been accused of working in a management company um, where they send each other uh, gifts and then they send the money back to encourage other people to send money. And it works. Um, I remember it being a thing that people used to do on Twitch TV where people would donate to each other's streams in the hopes that it would get other people to join in and they send the money back and you'd end up with a net profit. Uh, it's a tactic that companies work on. Um, apparently something that people are still doing. And TikTok maybe don't like that. They don't like people gaining the live system. Also, having the top five people on TikTok Live all being kind of the weirdest people on the planet probably isn't something they want for their app. They want to encourage it. They want it to look like a serious thing that people can do and not have uh, Alphabet Orion Doherty be the face of TikTok Live. Um, and there's so much controversy around Alphaba now, uh, you know, the alleged grooming of minors, apparently stealing from charities, also lying about having autism and entering competitions to do having autism without actually having it. That is something that maybe they don't want to promote. But, you know, I've been on TikTok for a long time and I don't really think they care. So um, God knows why she's been banned. But uh, hey, I'm not saying there isn't a reason. I am thrilled that you come back. <laughs> Did she say I'm almost at a million followers as well? Hey, this is what happens when you mess around. You end up finding out. I, I find it really hard to have sympathy at this point, and I did for ages. Like, I, I think there's a really tragic story here at the beginning. But I think at this point, I've seen so many crying like videos on TikTok screaming about stuff being unfair and then, you know, going live with the people she's been complaining about, going and hanging out with them, where I start to lose kind of any form of sympathy. 
And I don't really like that. And there are other people at play here who are preying on this downfall. But the whole kind of like horrific drama these people get into and um, just the lying uh, and the tomfoolery, uh, for lack of a better word, that these people involve themselves in to boost their accounts is uh, really ugly, to be honest. And um, all the people on TikTok Live genuinely make me kind of sick. Not being funny. I'm just being honest. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah, well, it happens, man. Like, uh, people get their accounts banned for doing stupid shit because they think they're invincible and they think because they got loads of followers that they can kind of do whatever and that they're not, like, under the same rules that everybody else is under. Um, but this is the thing. You are. You might make, like, what, 20 grand a month, but to TikTok, that's pennies, man. They don't care. Uh, they're not interested in that. They could ban you. It's not a loss of money for them. It's your entire livelihood gone. For them, um, you know, it's nothing. It's literally like maybe one day of an ad campaign for them. They don't care about you. And why would they? Especially when this is what you give them. The best thing is, is uh, we then get a kind of weird update on the allegations um, that Elphaba uh, has against her. So, you know, she kind of moved on quick to the more important stuff in the room. So uh, let's see what she has to say about that. Let me tell you this. The police have dropped everything. They're actually investigating people who have accused me of this. So remember that. I'm not that. I am not that at all. And it's been proven. So please understand that, okay? I promise. It's been proven by the police I'm not. Okay? In fact, exactly. But let me tell you who is being investigated. People who have accused me of this kind of stuff. I mean, just because... You know, I mean, nobody actually filed anything against Alphabet. So what she's doing here is, is she is extending the truth. She called the police to report the fact that people on the internet were accusing her of being um, a weirdo, uh, a one that like gets a sentence. And um, what Alphabet decided to do was call up the police and report that. And the thing is, that's not how crimes work. If you call up the police and go, hey, somebody's saying that I'm a bad man, they'll go, yeah, well, nothing's been officially filed, so, you know, uh, I guess, you know, move on with your life. Don't worry about it. Um, she actually ended up, like, weirdly probably putting herself in more trouble by making them aware. Because if nobody was going to call up and actually report it to the police, then the police aren't going to do anything about it. They're not really going to investigate. Um, it's not really something they do. They don't, like, investigate random TikTokers. They fucking should, probably, uh, but they're not going to. Um, and, and this is the thing, uh, and anybody who has an understanding of the law understands that, like, that's just not how it works, right? So the fact that, like, you didn't end up in bars because you called them up and said, people said that I'm a weirdo, and, um, oh, look, guys, I'm not in bars the next day. Yeah, that's not how the police works. It doesn't work like that. If somebody filed an actual case, um, then it would get put in the system, and then it would become an actual criminal investigation. But there is no criminal investigation. There never was. You called up the police and said that you might potentially be a criminal and um, they should look into it. And they went, oh, what a fucking weird call and uh, probably just ignored it because, you know, they've got too much stuff on, to be honest, to be wasting time with stuff like this. Um, maybe they should be looking into it. Who knows? Um, but it doesn't mean that, um, you know, technically you are innocent because nothing, there's no case. It's a weird situation. Like, I don't know why she, like, somebody would do this to themselves, you know? Like, why somebody would call up and report themselves to the police. But to sit here and be like, oh, well, you know, oh, they're going to investigate the other people. No, they're not investigating anybody. Nothing is going on. That's the reality of the situation. Uh, you're just making shit up. Which would be so unlike Alpha Book, guys, wouldn't it? That's not like her. I'm done. Remember that. I'm done with the drama on TikTok. Oh, yes, I am. I, I don't need to talk on TikTok anymore about it. Do you know what I can do? I go on the higher rank. I go to the people who actually can deal with it. That's what I do. It's more mature. So, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. On that note, I can't say much more. You can say whatever you want. You're not under investigation. There's no legal, like thing against you in fact the more you do say when there is a potential case they'll, they'll sit here and go why did you lie about all of this stuff 
You're, you're, you're proven to be untrustworthy because you make things up, right? And that's not going to go well for you in court. And they go, oh, look at this person who goes online and just like lies about being innocent about a crime that they never investigated for. Yeah, it's just not how it works, right? You can't just go on there and go, if the police said I didn't do it because they didn't put me in jail. No, they, they didn't know what was going on. They, they, well, there was no investigation in place. You're not actually being reported anywhere. You're not actually being accused of anything. Yeah, people on the internet are saying stuff about you, maybe with evidence, potentially. But um, if no, like, fucking actual police, like, thing has been filed properly, then nothing's going to happen, right? It's very odd. Why would you call the police about this? Why would you dob yourself in? <laughs> Um, yeah. Um, that's amazing. Oh, thank you. Okay, you kind of served. Oh, thank you so much. She wanted to go to Broadway, did she? With acting like that. Wow. Um, literally nobody commented anything that wasn't absolutely horrific. But pretending to read out nice comments, that's even sadder. Why would you put yourself through this much hate? I don't know how much money you'd have to pay me to deal with, like, this constantly. To the point where I have to pretend that, like, anybody likes me at all. It, it would have to be, like, millions a year. Uh, genuinely, I would rather just go live a normal life than subject myself to this. So moving on to kind of the final piece of this uh, absolutely decrepit story uh, of uh, just a bunch of people who've got nothing better to do with their lives, uh, including me, who's uh, sat here watching this for the entertainment of others on the internet, where we could sit here kind of slightly above them and go, haha, at least that's not me, but I'm still here engaging in it. Um... We're the slightly sadder ones, but uh, at least we're not completely at rock bottom yet. Um, we're, we're sinking. Um, fast. Uh, there's this, a woman called Mama Kaz. Um, uh, she hates Alpha, but tries to hold her accountable, which is great. But uh, as far as I could tell, they're, they're all fucking odd. Uh, I find Chelsea Liart, Mama Kaz, Alpha, they're all weirdos, uh, and I don't really like any of them. And that um, who's the one who looks like um, the ghost? Uh, uh, evil queen um they're basically like a bunch of people who just grift and like tear each other down and they're just like absolutely horrific to each other for money on the internet uh, there's no compassion shown um and uh it's uh it's pretty fucking dreadful to watch and uh, none of them have anything of worth to offer to anything and that's coming from me a youtuber um and i'd stick by it uh, she made uh, this video uh, celebrating the account. She looks like a maniac. Um, look, it's great that Elphaba's account has been taken down if she's generally a bad person, for sure, of course. But um, this is weird. <laughs> So I had I was on the phone to London TikTok HQ. They're a part of some Chinese agency. So CLA and CLA and and, and Elf Bar, right? They're they're linked to this Chinese a Chinese agency called Galaxy. Okay, I'm gonna expose everything. So there's a Chinese Galaxy, there's a Chinese agency called Galaxy UK, right? They contacted me because they wanted to manage me as well. So like I'm now official, officially working with London UK TikTok HQ, okay? TikTok, TikTok cannot stand them, all right? TikTok cannot stand them two people and they actually are putting in i'm not going to say too much but they're putting things in place to slowly um you know remove people that are unwanted basically they sat there and said all of that all of them violations that you guys when you was all reporting that person they had a backlog of them and they got to work through and have seen, now seen everything so even if that person was to go on and make another account it's going to catch up onto them now because yeah and monitored it they had to have a conference meeting with everyone at head office in, in london tiktok and basically um, decided to remove them off that account. Look, um, as somebody uh, who has been to the actual offices at TikTok, they uh, don't care, frankly. It's uh, it's just a bunch of people work there and uh, none of them really have any power um, to really like go and just like ban people's accounts. Um, they can get people unbanned, uh, but they're not really going around like enforcing stuff. Uh, that's like a completely separate group of people. And uh, frankly, I generally just don't really uh, believe this, to be honest. Um, I'm sure somebody probably went, oh yeah, this sounds terrible. Um, and, uh, yeah, these people kind of suck. And maybe that's the uh, opinion of an employee, but TikTok themselves do not give a fuck. Have you seen this app? Have you seen it? Have you seen the people who have been making content on it? There's literally like so many like offenders, um, who are like some of the most popular people on there. Uh, you know, they, they were still uploading on multiple accounts, uh, time and time again, they even made new accounts 
And uh, after the first ones got banned, and they just carried on making stuff. Like uh, TikTok doesn't care. Um, uh, they're not bothered. The app is pretty much like a like a hellhole uh, for content creation. I don't really think this is true. This isn't really like the experience that I have uh, as somebody who like you know spoke to TikTok employees a lot about people like this. I was like, hey, this is weird. Why does this guy get two million views and nobody does anything about it? And the response was, uh, that's somebody else's job. <laughs> and, um, you know, nobody really probably gets banned unless it's like genuinely, like provenly illegal or like, you know, criminal content. Uh, they're not going to ban Alphabet because she lies. Um, they're just not going to do that. It's not going to happen. Uh, they probably banned her because she posted something that was like, you know, violated a guideline because she said like a swear word or something. That sounds more like TikTok, to be honest. And look, I'm not saying that's a good thing. They should be getting rid of these people. I, I totally believe that. The whole live system, uh, I don't think this is what they envisioned for it. Um, it's grim. It's just people drama farming, um, which may sound ironic, but, you know, they're ruining each other's lives. Like, they're actually, like, causing drama. Like, I sit here, watch the drama, and go, ah, oh, weirdos. And they sit there and cause it and fight each other and make up horrific lies about each other and do um, borderline illegal stuff, if not illegal stuff. Uh, it, it's a whole different uh, kettle of shit. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be drinking out of that. I sit here from my nice tower and rain arrows down upon the uh, peasants below me. <laughs> Sorry. That's what, how I look at TikTok. It's just how I see it. Sorry, it's true. That's how I look at it. That's, just how, that's, that's what it is for me. Uh, they're fake arrows, by the way. They're like toy ones. You know, like the rubber ones. Just for uh, context, if anybody wants to try and take my video down. I'm reading through um, like the comments uh, on... Uh, Do you <laughs> Oh God, the fucking, that laugh is horrific on this video. And it's just people being like, yeah, she's thriving off this. Yeah, like, I, I, I don't think you should be celebrating. She'd be like, oh, great. Like, we got rid of this person who, like, kind of sucked. You know, this, this was bad. Um, I think somebody getting banned and going, ah! like that. I think that's fucking odd. I think that's weird. I think that's a weird thing to do. I think you go, yeah, man, um, they're like a danger. And uh, it's good to see that they're gone. They kind of suck. Uh, and um, they stole a lot of money from people. I think going, oh, guys, the news I've got. Like, why like, why are you that buzzing? It's almost like you're doing this for your own personal reasons. And you're not doing this uh, because you actually care about the problems that have been created. Who would have guessed? Maybe it's because you've got 3,000 live viewers doing it. Uh, maybe because uh, you're weekly number 49 on the rankings. Makes you want to be sick, right? Return to normality. Get a job. And frankly, companies, like, they can't tell you about other people. They can't go on and be like, yeah, we're going to ban this person, random TikTok user. I'm going to tell you about this uh, because um, they've been in so much trouble. It'd be a PR disaster. I don't know. It's like people have, like, a genuine, like, misunderstanding about how all of this stuff works. Like, I've been doing this for 10 years now, and... Uh, just don't work that way, right? Like maybe somebody who apparently knows somebody said something like that, but the chance of it being real is is fake and they probably work in like the TikTok chef department. They probably serve lunch to people, right? I don't think they're like uh, one of the higher ups. I don't think the CEO is a belling mama cast from China and going, oh, we're going to get rid of Alphaba. No, uh, he's got bigger fish to fry, um, like illegal spyware and uh, manipulating people via the algorithm. Well, um, that was it uh, for today's uh, TikTok... Um, oh, what's it? A tornado? Today's TikTok tornado. Uh, it sweeps me up, and uh, I hope it drops me from a million feet. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll be back with an update uh, when Alphabet gets her account back and all of this turns out to be a lie. Can't wait. <laughs> Bye.